Hi, good morning, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm gonna give you a quick video walk around of this 2015 on a 65 plate, Vauxhall Vivaro 1.6 CDTI. Uh, this is uh, a one keeper from New Van. It has come off lease. It has covered 64,000 warranted miles. Uh, it has been out on lease to home serve. Uh, I would suggest it's one of their technical service engineer vans. Uh, it's got lots of additional specification on it um, which will add up to quite a lot of money if you want to add all of this to it. Uh, factory options are standard, obviously, with electric windows and mirrors, Bluetooth phone and music. Uh, this van also has air conditioning fitted to it as well. It has reverse parking sensors fitted to it. Uh, security, additional security locks on all of the doors. Uh, LED lighting on the roof as well as your roof bars. Some very expensive racking in the back as well as inverters, hand wash basins, etc, etc. So really nice specification van, in pretty good condition all around really, a couple of minor bits cosmetically, um, we'll show you those as we go around, we do do a warts and all on the video, so we do show you the good bits and the bad bits as well, um, so you get a proper idea of what this van is all about. So I'm going to start off, we'll pop the bonnet first of all shall we, and you can have a quick look under the bonnet, so your bonnet releases down there in the cab come around here to the bonnet we have bonnet release under here somewhere so bonnets up on hydraulic struts as you can see uh, bonnet uh, bolts are original paintwork so you can see it's not had any paintwork off on the front of it engine bay clean and tidy sounds sweet enough doesn't it Up there on the roof, now you're probably going to get a better look of it than I am. Um, but obviously roof bars fitted, front and rear LED flashes. Coming down onto the windscreen, no major stone chips on the windscreen that I can see. Might have very minor small ones, but there's nothing major that I think is going to be any kind of a hangover when it comes to MOT. And bonnet. Bonnet is in nice condition. Admittedly, we've got a bit of rain water on it this morning, but there are no dents or dings, no uh, very minor, with a really minor stone chip there. We will go around with a touch-up pen. There's a couple of bits and pieces with a touch-up pen that would massively improve, um, but there's nothing major on the vehicle. Passenger front headlamp unit, secure and all in good working order. Passenger front bumper corner, again, really minor mark there in the bumper but no major scuffing on the passenger side coming around to the front of the vehicle front grille all good driver side front bumper corner again no major scuffing on there at all driver side headlamp unit all good surprisingly enough for a Vivaro the fit on the bumper to wing to headlamp is all good as well we'll just turn this off so it and quiet uh, driver side front wing as you can see we have a scratch here this will touch in and red touches in lovely so you shouldn't really pick that up to be honest with you but no dents or dings just a scratch there indicator units all good mirror unit driver side all good both the mirrors themselves and the unit itself nice and secure and in good working order steel wheel on this side Actually, steel wheels on this are in really good condition, which is quite rare nowadays because most steel wheels corrode up quite quickly. Uh, as you can see, tyre-wise, Dunlop tyre with loads and loads of tyre tread depth on there as well. The exact tyre tread depths we do on our PDI sheet, which you get when you either pick up the vehicle or we deliver it to you. Uh, and on that reading will be exactly what your tyre tread depths are. Driver's door glass, as you can see, is in good order. Driver's door panel itself. Again, all good, no dents or dings. A couple of minor bits on the door edges, which again, we will get the touch-up stick ordered up and get those sorted out for you. Minor, minor scratching behind the door handle, but nothing major. The skid plates or scuff plates going down the side of the van, as you can see, black plastic, all in good order. The sill underneath them, you can see, is all in good order as well. Mid panel, driver's side. There is a mark on it, I will show you in a second, but you probably haven't, won't notice it. But mid panel upper, all good. 
mid panel middle all good there is a really really minor sort of we'll call it a dent for want of a better word but they've obviously just slightly caught it, it hasn't broken the paintwork um, however it is there you may or may not be able to see it on the video it's very minor but it is there so we'll point it out to you driver's side rear quarter upper all good middle panel all good lower down obviously steel wheel this side again in great condition again with a good brand named tire on the on it as well which i think is another dunlop um they look like they've been recently replaced to be fair on the both driver side tires uh bumper corner on the rear uh no major marks on it at all on this part on this part here you can see they've slightly caught it here it has left an indentation on it the reverse parking sensors do work fine on it however what we will do is get the kettle on it um or heat gun and we'll try and uh, get that uh, pushed down a little bit better for you uh, brake light unit and light unit on the driver's side rear is all good that's a little bit of oh no a little bit of bathroom sealant or something like that on the light unit there really minor scratch there again probably tea cut that out uh, light unit there all good rear doors so we have barn doors on the back end of the vehicle High level brake light up here we have a chip here on the door which will get touched in uh, high security lock here and a security lock here as well uh, behind the rear uh, door handle is all good top of the rear bumper actually isn't chewed to pieces they're not the type of van that's it's not a bit obviously been in builders van and had tons of sand in the back of it or anything like that so Rear doors are actually in good condition. A couple of minor chips again on the edges, but we'll get those sorted out for you. And then inside is what makes this van. So I'll take a picture of the, uh, of the information sheet here. Um, but obviously you've got, um, it's actually a plastic uh, load lining in the back. Um, inside of the rear doors, as you can see, are, although there's minor wear and tear they're actually in great condition additional security lock here that's part of your security lock up here as well inside real doors on that side all good and then in the back we've got this lovely racking so um and then obviously the ultimo is it ultimo am i thinking of brass i can't remember anyway the floors nice nice flooring there Obviously, loads of space underneath if you want to fire stuff underneath there. Obviously, if you don't want this racking, it can be removed. It'd be a bit of a shame, but it's, uh, it is removable. Um, sides of the rackings, as you can see. Oh, you've got a little bit of additional plastic pipe there. We won't charge you any extra for that. But all good. Uh, additional LED lights. So we've got one up here in the roof here, and we've got one over here by the sliding door. So a nice bit of additional LED lighting in the back. Passenger rear light unit. Actually, that's a manufacturer. No, I thought that was a, a, a crack for a second there, but no, it's all part of the light unit. Uh, so the light unit itself, all good. Fog light, reverse light here, all good. Reverse parking sensors on the back, as I've said. Both the reflectors on the back bumpers are all in good order. Passenger rear bumper corner, all good. No major marks there at all. Steel wheel this side, again, good tyre. We've got a Michelin on this side. Um, again, with plenty of tyre tread depth as well. Um, lower quarter, good. Upper quarter, all good. We have a really minor mark there in the paint. A bit of T-cut and touch-up will probably sort that out. Sliding door has got both additional security locks down here. And down here so obviously you can see this one may have been attacked oh uh, it's full of uh full of uh, uh um, sealant so i think that one's knackered okay but we have one up here that appears to be all in good working condition we have a scratch here which you could do with a touch in we'll get that sorted out for you upper part of the sliding door all right obviously there's that scratch and the uh broken security lock on the bottom of that sliding door there as well we have another little scratch there on the corner. Now, if we open up in here, 
Um, as you can see, we've got some nice bit of kit in the back here. So we've got plug sockets over here, auxiliary fuses. We've got a Victron Energy Phoenix inverter uh, there for you. It looks a nice setup, doesn't it? Uh, we've got your hand cleaning, protective cream and hand sanitizer here. We've got another power point here. Turn inverter off overnight. Uh, factory bulkhead, as you can see. Um, and we have the racking here. So these, I think, just always easy to do it when you're not holding a camera phone. But as you can see, these lift up. You've got the shelving space in there. And then lift them up push them down again so you've got three lots of those and then additional racking here we have first aid kit here as well and we have a little eber spacker mini wash uh, hand basin there for you as well pull that out and fill it up there i think it'll actually gives you warm water as well don't quote me on that though step step looks slightly manky as it is quite often the case on these vivaros um, I'm sure we could possibly remove that and clean it up a little bit better. Same as with all the, the stuff down here. I'm not quite sure what's gone on there. Obviously, we must have given up violating it at that point. But we'll get that sorted out on it for you as well. Get it uh, cleaned up nicely. So really nicely kitted out in the back. Uh, passenger side door. Upper door glass, all good. Uh, behind your handle, all good minor chipping on the side of the doors which will get touched in for you um, a couple of really minor marks but nothing major at all passenger mirror unit slight scuffing on the side of the unit there glass itself all good and then rubbing strip down the side again all good done its job seals are all good happy days passenger side front wheel is a dunlop tire on there steel wheels not in bad condition either and again plenty of tire tread depth on that dunlop tire passenger front wing no major marks to point out to you and we've done the bumper already haven't we so going into the cabin um door cards minor signs of wear and tear again little minor marks here um but the actual door cards are clean um, I would suggest that to either sealant residue or paint residue there on the door. Uh, your entry sill and plastics are in good condition. Minor marks, obviously we have a board there, which I would imagine they have had a fire extinguisher clipped to, which is no longer there. Floor itself isn't in bad condition. Dashboard, glove box. Inside the glove box there is your book pack. Clean and tidy in the glove box there is your locking wheel nut key for your spare wheel. Um, dash itself, obviously storage pockets on the top, no major marks, little minor marks but nothing major in here at all and if I move my camera out of the way, seats, seats we need to get another clean done on the seats I think, we do have some kind of paint stroke sealant on the seats here, uh, we'll give it another clean, um, they do need another clean, um, however I can't always guarantee we can get it all off. I do think we will get it looking a lot better than what it is, though. There's a bit of a compromise. Headlining itself, clean and tidy. Dirty sun visors. We've obviously missed those. We'll get those valeted as well. Everything will be re-cleaned, valeted, sanitised before it goes out as well. And just showing you around to the driver's side. Driver's side door card signs of wear and tear but nothing major nothing that you wouldn't expect on the vehicle of this age there's your electric windows and mirrors your door cards themselves clean and tidy entry seals driver's side the paint part and the plastic part okay obviously it's a bit of a damp day here today we have been in and out of it and there is um, some marks on it flooring as you can see there's no big hole in the floor from dirty big work boots which is quite unusual the rubber pedals are all there and all together. We do have wear on the driver's seat bolster here. We will get this repaired for you. So they do suffer with it with Vivaros. It is the part of the seat that you hit every time you get in and out. Uh, we will get that resolved for you. Uh, get it into the trimmers and get that sorted out for you. Uh, handle here does your seat height adjustment. 
seat itself, not in bad nick. As I say, another valet would improve it immensely. Over here we have uh, parking sensors, electronic stability program, dashboard, uh, sorry, headlamp levelers, and then dashboard illumination. Has a master nought system fitted to it at the moment. This is something that the companies fit to them to monitor the driver's habits and how they, uh, how they behave whilst driving the vehicle. Um, nothing to worry about there. If you want it removed, it's fairly easy. We can get that out. This one does have a 68 mile an hour speed limiter fitted to it at the moment. It's a 90 brake horsepower van, uh, Euro 5, I think this one is. So I'm pretty sure we can remap that out if you wanted to. Um, it will remove your speed limiter and the remap gives it about 120 brake horsepower. Uh, that would be 345 plus VAT. I think that's the only way that we can remove the speed limiter on them. Um, we have a broken vent here, which I'm sure we can order up a new one from Vauxhall for you. Cup holder up here. Steering wheel, signs of wear and tear for the age and the miles, but not too bad. Horns on your steering wheel here. Buttons on the end here move you through your driver information system on your dashboard. So it tells you what your fuel range is on the vehicle, uh, how many miles um, how many uh, miles per gallon you're getting, etc, etc. Fires up fine there. Oh, of course, a tank of diesel in it there, look. So we've just got warning lights on the dash air to tell us that the door's open, um, but uh, no other warning lights to worry about. As I say, Bluetooth, telephone and music here. We have a USB power point here. And we have another USB power point on the back of the dash there. And then we have another 12 volt uh, power point there as well. Uh, air conditioning, all important air conditioning is there. Six speed gearbox. We have your little head armrest for the driver's seat. Could do with a clean, we've obviously missed that. Uh, in between the seats, clean and tidy. I think really we just need to get the seats re-cleaned on it. Um, and a bit of a touch-up stick. Uh, oh, look, I've left your LED lights on there, look. Um, you know, essentially a, a straight and tidy van. Uh, as I say, one keeper, 64,000 miles. Um, straight and tidy workhorse, really nicely kitted out in the back really nice specification as well uh, and great value for money at the moment as well um, 60 odd photos will be loaded onto our website very shortly which is vanstoday.com i am simon and you can contact me on 01905 672 080 or email me at sales at vanstoday.com uh, we do obviously have covid guidelines that we have to work towards at the moment uh, we are doing click and collect and click and deliver um, feel free to give me a shout uh, and we can see what sort of a deal we can get sorted out on it with reference to delivery if that's the route that you're looking at. Um, check us out, the company out on uh, Google, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc, etc. Um, as you hopefully you can tell as you've just made it through 18 minutes of a video, we do warts and all, don't hide anything. Um, it will go through the workshops, have a fresh MOT, 110 point PDI check an electronic health check and the service um, done on it before it goes out. Thanks for looking at the video and if you can be of any more help give me a shout.